incredible content. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, don't you agree? <laughs> Never again, unless I really mean it, will I ever ask what's new. <laughs> there were so many great things, Antonio, that you did today. First of all, you are a master of your subject. You knew everything there was to know. You were very well organized. A great wordsmith. And you also had something that I like to call a likability factor. When you got up here, I liked you. And particularly when you smiled, I really liked you. And it was a great speech. But how do we take an already great speech and raise it up to an even higher level? First of all, let's do it again. The 1990 world champion of public speaking, David Brooks, says the best writing is rewriting. So it'll be even better that next time. I couldn't help but notice that you were a little bit nervous today. Mark Twain said there are only two types of speakers. There are nervous speakers and there's liars. <laughs> <laughs> so it's perfectly natural and the solution is the same as that first recommendation. Do it again. Just stage time, stage time, stage time, it'll get better each and every time. Sometimes, I do the same thing that you do. My hard drive starts flashing as I'm accessing the next chunk of information. Something that may help you, it helps me, is to set your body in motion. And the active body movement will also kind of jolt your brain forward a little bit and access just a little bit faster. Another suggestion would be to incorporate blocking into your speech. Now, blocking is purposeful movement on stage. It allows us to create clarity and also a spot to reference back to later on in the speech. You could have started, let's say, over here. And when you got to, oh, maybe the in-store experience, move to another spot. And when you get to the next chunk, pick a third spot. Because some of us are just a little too old. There's a lot of you know, a lot of information. We can't follow it, but if you separate it visually, It'll make it a little bit easier for each of us to follow. In conclusion, if you take those great skills you have of organization, content, likability, and smiling, and just put in a little bit of blocking, and perhaps just a little bit more body language, then I can hear everyone's going to say, there's no speaker like Antonia. There's no speaker like Antonio. There's no speaker like Antonio.